All right, guys, it's time for another Grease Mobile road trip. This time, uh, me and three of my friends are going up to Canada for Columbus Day weekend. It's just going to be a fishing trip. We rented a small cabin up there on a lake. Anyway, let's get this thing ready for the trip. All right, well, first things first, I'm going to try to put the uh, canoe up here by myself. So that will be interesting. I got the canoe back here. It's not too heavy, but it's a little awkward to put it on by myself. All right, and there you go. It's all tied down. We're ready to leave tomorrow morning. I swear, guys, you have got to be kidding me. Right as I'm about to go park the car back, listen to the noise the window's making. It won't roll up. Well, we haven't even started the journey yet, and we have one uh, casualty. So I guess I am going to be pulling this into the garage and tearing this door panel off. Well, this is not how I wanted to spend my uh, afternoon or evening now. But it's what we're doing. The door panel was really easy to take off. It took me like two minutes. There's only two screws. I'm going to regret tearing this off, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, so the entire assembly in here is pretty much screwed. Look what happens. It's just all loose. Sorry, it's not focusing. So, what we need is a new uh, window regulator. However, I don't have time for that, so I'm just going to pull up the window manually and t tape it up or something, duct tape it up. I don't know. All right, guys, well, took a little bit of yanking on to free it up from its regulator, but... Now I can at least pull it up. I'm just gonna duct tape it up. Okay, well, I got the window up. I've taped it up here. And I taped it on the inside too. Cause I'm not driving 200 or whatever, 400 miles. I don't know how far I'm going. I'm not driving 400 miles with the window open in 33 degree weather with possible rain and snow. If I feel like fixing the regulator, I might later, but I'm pretty sure that the regulator and motor assembly costs like 400 bucks, and this van was 400 bucks, so I probably won't ever fix it. I'll stay for now. Uh, let's put this door panel back on and go get some dinner. Okay, well, I'm done. It took about, uh, whatever, 20 minutes, 15 minutes or something. Anyway, back together. And uh, if I ever get motivated, I'll actually replace the regulator. All right, see you in the morning. All right, well, here we are the next morning. It's about uh, 8.30 or something. And I'm ready to head off to Canada. Uh, it's a four and a half hour drive. I just looked it up last night and it's 300 miles there. So the total trip will be around uh, 600, I'm guessing. See how this girl cold starts? Usually does pretty well. Oh uh, yeah, starts right up. All right, well, first things first, uh, I'm off to my friend's house to go pick him up, and then we're gonna go pick up the other two later, so it's gonna be a total of four of us going on this fishing trip. Okay, here we are. Let's go wake him up. This is his dog, look how cute it is. Hey, come in. Dog jumped in and won't come out. Come on. All right, guys, we're coming up onto the border now. Luckily, there's not much traffic today. Wow. Anyway, I will catch up oh, with you guys again look when... Look back, though. It's crazy traffic. Yeah, it's a lot of traffic going back to the U.S. All right, we made it through the border. No issues there. Uh, probably have some more issues coming back because the U.S. people always take a lot longer, but we're now in Canada. So, I'll check in, I guess, again when we get to the cabin. checkpoint see how the van's doing the brakes are pretty hot right now because I've been in stop and go traffic although it's not overheating or anything canoe's still on well traffic here sucks but uh, all's going well 
van's doing fine. Running very smooth and quiet. Okay, we stopped in Montreal for lunch. We're stuck in pretty bad traffic right now because it's uh, rush hour, it's 4.40 p.m. So this is pretty slow going. All right, we just turned into their road now. So, looks pretty nice. Looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. So, a little bit of a rally stage. Drive it too fast. Woo. All right, guys. We have arrived at the destination. All right, so it's a very beautiful spot. Here's the cabin there. And it's on right on the lake. So very nice. Got a little paddle boat there, or pedal boat, whatever it's called. There's the cabin. Very nice spot. All right guys, the van did a great job. I still absolutely love this thing. One of my best purchases for 400 bucks <clears throat> has gotten me over like 10,000 miles. Anyway, it's time to unload this canoe and get on the lake. And so here was our total distance up. It was 254 miles. All right guys, time to get back on the road. Got the van loaded up. We gotta put the canoe on now. Next, and then we'll be trucking once again. If you're wondering why there's another car there, it's because there's two cabins here, one there, and then ours is the one down there. All right, canoe's back on. Hey, we're leaving again. Can you stop making that noise? Starts right up. It's got this issue right now where the uh, oil light stays on until I start it again for a second time, but I think that's an electrical thing. All right, this is the first stop of our way back home. We had to stop for one of my friends at Subway uh, because he has celiac, so he can't eat gluten, and we're gonna eat at a diner. Um, so he has to eat at Subway here, which is not a bad thing. Anyway, we've done however many miles that is since our last, since I last checked in. I don't wanna do the math. All right, we just stopped in uh, Quebec. Uh, where are we? We stopped in Montreal for some lunch at the diner, like I said, we would a little while ago. Anyway, time to get back on the road again. All right, guys, we're coming back finally to the Vermont border. Uh, it is 6.17 at night. I think I'm gonna pass this truck. I don't know if I should. Uh, I probably shouldn't. I'm gonna just go to the passing lane now. As you can see, we're coming to U.S. Customs here. What is this? We have to stop here first. Oh yeah, I forgot that Vermont Customs, or back, coming back to the U.S. is a lot stricter than going into Canada, so. You said you like that. United States of America. Alright guys, and now we're finally back in Vermont. Alright guys, finally we're coming into my exit. Look where we are. Long day. 559 and a half miles. Total, not today. But the van is home. All right, so as you saw, we're back home. The total distance of the trip was 559 miles, 0.5. And uh, let's just do an issue toll or a problem check. So this was the biggest problem was the window. And as you can see, I reduct duct taped it. And it made, it made some noise in the wind and on the interstate, but 
eventually I got it to the point where it was pretty quiet and all was well there. The only other issue that I had was the oil, the low oil pressure light would turn on when I cold started it every time. But then it would turn back off. All I had to do was turn it, turn the car off and then turn it back on again and the oil light would be off. So what I think it is, is, and you can see it's off right now, but what I think it is, is a electrical issue with the sender or something, um, because the engine light is on right now because of an electrical issue with the EGR valve, it's a circuit malfunction. So I assume some rust just got into the system and that's what you're hearing. Anyway, I'll let you listen to the engine. You can tell there are no ticks or knocks or anything. And if we actually had low oil pressure, the engine would be knocking and ticking right now because we drove 600 miles with it. But listen up. There, you can hear it's running very smoothly. And like last time, this was super comfortable. The most comfortable of any of my cars that I own. Uh, all four of us had good room and there was space in the back for all our luggage. Once again, the van proves to be an excellent purchase. Thanks for watching.